One of the amazing tools or plugins in Cubase for creating extra ambience is the ping pong delay. Now the ping pong delay does much what you'd probably expect. It's like a ping pong table. It's sending a signal between the left and the right hand side to create this deeper stereo depth. And there's a number of really cool things and outcomes that we can achieve using the parameters. Let's take a look. Over on the left hand side of the delay, we've got the low and high filter. So if we want the filter to impact the low end, we could drop the low filter. If we want to filter out the low end, we could raise it up. And it's the same with the high filter. And we can turn these on and off. In the middle, we've got the all important delay parameter. And we can choose to move this up freely, or we can click on the sync button and the sync button will bring up a quantize setting. So you can hear how these different changes impact the delay and basically it's delaying the signal more frequently, but in time with a grid. For a more swung effect, we could use the triplet setting or the dotted setting. The more you get into triplets and dots, the more complicated the signal becomes. And you can use the feedback parameter to define how many times the signal is repeated. The mix parameter will define how much of the signal is included in our mix, all the way to the right, and it's only the affected sound we'll hear. Down the bottom, we can use this parameter to define the stereo width, and we can also define on which side, between left and right, the delay starts. As always, it's packed full of different presets, which is always a great place to start. But I'm confident once you start playing around with the delay and get your head around it, it'll be something that you'll reach for fairly often to create interesting ambience inside your music productions. In terms of ambience, it's just added a little bit of extra groove and atmosphere over the top of this plucked synth line. So it just makes it a little bit more interesting and it's not something that necessarily has to be in your face either. Even if you find something that doesn't work, keep playing around with it and you'll notice how quickly the dynamic of this individual track changes. In terms of what type of instruments you can use the delay on, well, there's really no limitations. You can use it on almost anything other than probably a whole drum groove. But hey, there's no rules. Another really good use for the ping pong delay is to use it over the top of vocals. But it's really important that you don't let the delay overshadow the lead vocals here. And what we're doing with the delay is repeating what's already been sung. And it's important to remember that there's another important line coming up soon. So we need to make sure we get the timing correct, the feedback, and also the mix settings right. You can also automate anything in Cubase, so you can turn the effect on and off, and turn it off when the lead singer's singing a really important line. Using the timing or sync parameters can give us an easy sense of timing because everything's locked in to our project. Sometimes though it's nice just to turn it off. Just use your mouse to feel your way around the parameter. And that can also give us a really nice sense of ambience. There's so many creative ways you can use the ping pong delay to create extra stereo width and ambience inside your projects. And there's so many different colors you can use it over. Hey, thanks for taking the time to stop by. There's plenty more videos on plugins that are included inside of Cubase around me on the Cubase YouTube channel. Please give us a thumbs up if you've learned something. And of course, subscribe to the channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'll see you there.